Welcome Cryptopians to Total Crypto Updates, bringing you another video for real deep dives into the crypto industry. I can't promise to only speak about crypto, but I can promise everything will be overstood. Let's dive into today's very dense crypto update. Starting off today's update which will be implemented into YouTube Shorts very soon. Quick cabs update offer very bullish, or bearish information in the crypto world that has very little information to help fully understand its meaning. Now on to today's quick cap before today's total crypto update. September CPI data which will be announced on the 13th of October at 6 p.m. IST expected CPI data is expected to be 8.1%. Also Microsoft and Meta partner up to bring us Office 365 apps to the metaverse. Speaking of metaverse, Multiverse Labs on Wheels Government Back Metaverse City in UAE. Also in the stock market S&P 500 set a new 52-week low two days ago. Also Coinbase releases Coin a Founder Story a, a documentary about the company in cryptocurrency. For the last quick cap Mt. Cox Bitcoin Exchange creditors can now register to select a repayment method. Now regulations on banks using cryptocurrency. Crypto asset operations may bring new dangers to banks and their clients, Fed Vice Chair for Supervision Michael Barr warned at DC Fintech Week. The board is working with the OCC and FDIC to regulate and monitor banks' crypto asset activity to safeguard clients and the financial system, Barr said. Barr said banks must verify crypto-related operations are lawful and be prepared to mitigate risks. Fraud, theft, manipulation, money laundering, and extreme volatility were threats Barr stated. Highly volatile crypto assets won't replace fiat currency, said Barr, who added that stable coins may act as privately issued money. Barr, who encouraged Congress to develop stable coin legislation last month, said the Fed is working with other regulatory agencies to establish up a legal framework for stable coins. This week, Bank of New York Mellon Corporation launched its first Bitcoin and Ether custody service. Moving on to Bitcoin College. 99% of people don't understand education is free. Booths. Professors who haven't worked in the free market for years teach most college courses. Colleges encourage students to buy textbooks regardless of their correctness, so publishers have little incentive to give honest feedback or correction. Information has been commoditized and bundled into ones and zeros on permissionless servers, it's free online. Many 1960s dormitories resemble prison camps. You're also paying for services, amenities, and infrastructure you never use. It's bundled. Or else. Some campuses and top-tier colleges offer great housing amenities, but they are the minority. Worse, they're constructed and can't be moved. The MIT Alumni Network requires four Boston winters. Imagine a better package. More specialized, cheaper, and kids learn about Bitcoin. Essays and other learning items won't be gated. Students' right to establish an online following a more important network than any alma mater and to enhance their talents. Students follow their natural interest as long as it's Bitcoin material, but to properly learn and integrate it, they must develop their own content. They must blog, podcast, or build a YouTube channel on what they learnt. Improve your communication and market feedback. No more unpublished writings. 99% of people don't understand education is free. Stated by Jeff Booth. Also Shiba Eternity is look very bullish as of late. The community behind the meme-inspired cryptocurrency Shiba Inu, $SHIB, seems to be enjoying its collectible card game Shiba Eternity, which was debuted earlier this month. Since debut, over 11,000 people have rated the game 4.65 on Google Play. The game gets 4.8 stars in Apple's App Store. Shiba Eternity Trailer Shiba Inu contains 10,000 Shiboshi heroes, 500 collector cards, 87 card qualities, 21 special abilities, 21 card keywords, 11 passive powers, and more. 
5% of the game's proceeds will be used to burn Shiba Inu tokens, according to the creators. The SHIB army burns tokens to limit supply and boost Shiba's price if demand rises. Late this month, Shiba's burn rate soared by 100% to 61 million Shiba in 24 hours, as Ethereum, $F, Wales helped burn tokens. The meme-inspired cryptocurrency group uses Amazon affiliates and music playlists to earn cash and burn Shiba. Moving on. Hive blockchain reported GPU mining profitability has dropped following the merge. Hive's Ethereum GPU mining generated 3x to 4x more income per MW than ASIC Bitcoin mining, the firm stated. As hash rate shifted from Ethereum to other currencies after the merge, the company's GPU mining income dropped from $120,000 to $150,000 to $20,000 to $30,000 per day. Since the merge, proof-of-work mineable currencies have experienced tremendous volatility and are heading higher, the business claimed. Hive stated the same energy capacity on ASICs could yield $41,000 at current difficulty levels. The firm has ASIC machines ready to switch if it wishes to but it's examining the income it may generate after the ecosystem stabilizes and whether it's economically feasible. Hive has utilized Ethereum to finance and expand its Bitcoin mining activities. During this bear cycle, we aim to extend our green energy Bitcoin mining and pursue new growth prospects Frank Holmes, CEO. The business sold all its Ethereum. The company's GPU hash rate transferred to other mineable currencies, setting up Bitcoin rewards instead of keeping them. The merge added 15.8 BTC. Hive's GPU mining BTC equivalent plummeted 44% month over month, from 228.4 BTC in August to 111.7 BTC in September. By September 30th, Hive's Bitcoin mining capacity was 2.28 EHS. IT intends to achieve 2.7 EHS this month and add 1 EHS in 3 to 4 months. A special adoption announcement, and proof cryptocurrency can become a thing. Now on to Bitcoin adoption and Satoshis being accepted in British Island. Just days after the anachronistic spectacle of the Queen's burial, the pound sterling hit an all-time dollar low. A pound was worth $4 before Elizabeth II's coronation. A pound hardly purchased a dollar after her burial. With the sharpest jump in guilt rates in living memory and double-digit inflation, Britain's financial situation is worse than the 2008 catastrophe. The Chancellor was on the verge, yet he could purchase a pint of beer for less than one pound. On the Isle of Man, home of the Manx, many establishments take sats. Which? Poor Koi? After Queen's funeral. We were the first Bitcoin-paying visitors at the Cozy Ellen Vannon, which serves Manx kippers for breakfast. They began taking Bitcoin after seeing more orange stickers in business windows. Their reason is twofold, a conviction in Bitcoin's future and additional commerce from Bitcoiner tourists like ourselves. Why do Manx use Bitcoin? After a timeout takeout meal, it was evident that using Bitcoin in Britain is easy. With several shops taking sats and a population of 86,000, the island is more Bitcoin-friendly than the mainland. Why? Some Brits believe the Isle of Man's favorable tax system makes Bitcoin simpler or more appealing. Merchants on the island still have to charge and account for VAT on transactions, just as on the British mainland. Others assume it's a local government plan, but it's not. Although the Manx authorities are generally friendly towards technology and innovation, there is no special initiative in place. Others say it's because of laxer local banking restrictions that favor Bitcoin firms. Most retailers we talked with utilize local Bitcoin exchange coin corner and their bulk tap and pay lightning card, although this isn't dramatically different from merchants on the mainland. According to our interactions, the open-minded entrepreneurial mentality of Manx businesses has driven Bitcoin acceptance. Local Bitcoiners may assist. The Coin Corner team's dedication to training and enrolling local businesses also helped. The outcome is a bottom-up, grassroots Bitcoin community. 
Manx's construction seems genuine and robust. An orange bee in a grocer's window or on a bus would be great. Bitcoin is now a viable means of exchange in the world's sixth biggest economy. That will conclude today's update on trending news in the crypto world. Remember, the social media platforms will be up and running next week. With the last channel being deleted we must now start over. Don't forget we have a $50 giveaway for when we hit 200 subs and followers on all social platforms. We also raised the giveaway for 1,000 subs on YouTube to a $200 giveaway. Don't miss out, all you have to do is like, follow, subscribe and tag as many people as you can. We will be watching who tags who in keeping tabs on which one of those tags actually followed and subscribed. I repeat, this is not a random drawing. Anyone can compute the giveaways themselves. Good day, good night, and goodbye.